Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to episode of Pat Taste Performance. What in the uh, mullet flow today? Feeling a little risque. It's actually a nice day. Just got done with work. We are past the noise ordinance. It's just for wheat noise ordinance. So I'm going to make a little bit of noise. Hopefully not get in trouble. And then we'll do what we can. And then we'll pick it up tomorrow. So, we have a... Jang Dong JF200 3500 oh, sorry, Power Series Generator. I don't know. Obviously, it's here for a no star. <sighs> we have a couple of generator videos coming out. Oof. And you can see it's crusty in there too. Another generator that's filled to the brim that doesn't run. So this only actually only has two power feeds. Everything is in freaking chain whatever. China. So uh, let me just see if we can get this fired, right? Fuel on. Oh no. Oh no, please. Please tell me. Please tell me that this didn't run because they had the fuel switch. Oh my god. Oh my god. If this runs because they had the fuel on, we're gonna have a problem. Well, I'm not gonna have. They have to pay me anyway. But let's check the oil real quick. You know, I shouldn't have. Oh, look, these are pneumatic tires. They're so cute. They're bold. Oh, this oil is black. So this thing actually has some hours on it. Woo! So hopefully the owner. Whatever. All right. So let's see. Like I said, let me just. Let's get close. Let me just get this thing, whatever, diagnosed, or we'll see. And then I'll give you a little close uh, walk around. Let me see. Okay, three posts, that's it. Is anybody else in here? Okay, so right in the keister. And then we'll go for a little walk around all this. A little bit of go-go juice. Let's see what we got. Uh -oh. Okay. Usually... On a very rare occasion, um, sorry, someone is just messaging me. It's I could count on. Yeah, actually, I've only had one generator that I had to repair that didn't require a carburetor cleaning. I actually bent the push rods. I, hope, I don't know if I have it in my phone. But, we will see. Um, yeah, sorry, this guy's being an idiot. Forget that. You guys take priority. Um, so, yeah, it hadn't been push rod. That was a Briggs on there. So I, this is amateur hour when it comes to generators. I am not a generator aficionado. I just get them running. But if you have this generator, how old is it? How much did you pay for it? <laughs> looks like it. It is a uh, looks like a Predator 212, just a copycat. Typical wing wing, ding ding carburetor made by Huang Hua. Okay, these little cute pneumatic tires. 
so cute. I wonder if they hold air, if I air them up. Oh, look, this is a, look, a famous, famous idle circuit that we have to drill at for a snow blown. Look at this, JF200 Ding Dong. Okay, and then it is a PowerWise 3500 generator, on-off switch, specified oil. Talk to us. What specified oil do you put in here? There's a mention. Fantastic. Most likely, 30 weight. Here's our voltmeter. Here is our circuit breaker on off. And then this is... Is this a ground? Yep, that is a ground. Cool. And we got two plugs. That's it. Not a lot of power. But it is better than nothing. So, okay, so here it is, JD3000. That is our model number for this beautiful boy. Oh, and let's talk about this fuel. To the brim. I don't know if you guys could see in this fuel filter that there's actually some dirt. Let's get this. Uh, ooh, ooh, can you guys see that? Look at that. You know what? And I just filled up the Honda with gas. Alright, so, let me get you back in the stand. This is all messed up. And, uh, that's cool. And we'll get this going. Alright, so I got you guys on the stand. We gotta get this carburetor out. Um, generators, I technically... I mean, listen, you guys know I use foam. Love it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. On generators, I don't bother. And it's not Seafoam's fault. You gotta be kidding me. Look at this. Why do they have to have this stupid extra layer? Alright, so let's zip out these four screws. No, don't pull off my stand. So, today was a really good day for me. Uh oh, I'm blocking you. But, you know, we're talking. You guys now take off these four screws. So, today was a good day for me. But in reality, every day above ground is a good day. So, I posted it on Instagram, which subscribe to my YouTube channel, which if you haven't already, give the old bell a ring and a whack, and you will. Pretty simple. So, I have a limited edition Snap-on Heritage Series Toolbox at work. It's America's best. It's a really cool toolbox. It really caught my eye, so I had to have it. Toolbox is almost as old as me, but I love it dearly because it just screams America. I have to have it. Have to have it. This was before they had wraps and whatnot. It's just built with craftsmanship the whole month. So anyway, um, <clears throat> it's been a little bit of an endeavor getting my toolbox set up the way I have it now. Uh, I bought the first one when I first started my job, and then I always wanted the matching second one, and that took me about two, three years. I actually drove up to New Jersey to get it, and believe it or not. I paid just as much for the top box as I did for my bottom box, which is a lot bigger. But, when you want something, you gotta pay. Had to have it. Okay. Oh my god, it's the same setup. Look, 210, and that 8 right there. God, wait! I zip this off off camera, but we'll talk. So, <clears throat> It didn't take me long to outgrow my existing setup, so instead of getting rid of it, I always wanted to add on. So my toolbox is a double bank. I'm sorry. Yeah, double bank, or two bays, they would call it, toolbox, with lockers on the side. And the only downfall is, is that it is 19 inches deep. And now, my toolbox at home is actually bigger. Look at this. Because this thing is filled, right? 
There should be fuel coming out here, and there isn't. Probably. Okay. So, that is the only drawback of my toolbox. It's 19 inches deep. The newer toolboxes are anywhere from 24 to 28, and I think the new series, the Epic series, is 30 inches. My toolbox at home is a snap-on, 30 inches deep. Right? Go figure. So, anyhow, um, the plan is, plans, we like plans, is that when I get my garage built, I want to take my toolbox from work, bring it home, and have my 30-inch set up with some other conglomerate at work. But in the end, I post it on Instagram and I post it on my community page of today's epic day. Because I found this toolbox in a barn. I didn't find it. I put an ad up. I want to buy it. And actually, somebody didn't want to take advantage of me. Okay, I've had people that want to take advantage, which they rightfully have the right so because I want it. But they were also hours out of state away. And I am not going to do that. And this carburetor is frozen. So let's give it a good old whack, because I'm too easy to get my hand on. And let's see. Yeah, we broke we'll freight. So I picked it up, and while I was in the barn, low-key, my eyes were looking around at other things. And I happened to spot these handles. They are iconic for this lawnmower. And I'm not going to ruin it, but I grabbed them too. So... I got a fair deal. Um, one is newer than the other, but they are both the same. She doesn't know the last time they ran. They were her husband's, who unfortunately passed on. So I made her a fair offer because I'm not a sucker like that. I believe in karma. Because good has happened to me, so I need to pass it on. And uh, I got both lawnmowers and a toolbox. And... What I sell these lawnmowers for will pay for my toolbox and so. So, truck lever actually came out, which is not a big deal. But here, it's our carburetor. So this should just be very similar to what we've been seeing. So yeah, let's 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 uh let's pop off this bowl. And then we'll pop off everything else. Let's see how bad this is. Uh oh. I know I'm losing torque. I have all these extensions. There's just a nut. Oh. Extensions out. It's just a nut. And also. Put this on here and we'll let the ratchet do that. Yep. Slide it on there real good. And then we'll crack it right on the machine. Out of my way. There we go. I would just crack this here on the machine off camera. Use common sense. And we'll go from there. Moment of truth. Oh my god. That is rust. Ladies and gentlemen. Alright, you know what? This true this fuel was not treated. You can definitely tell that with the rust. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's going to be a little of a pickle to get this stuff out. Where's my hero when I need it? Because that's what this carburetor is going to need. Look at that. We might be able to save this. No promises. So just a flat tip screwdriver. This one's actually a little smaller than I need it to be. So let's clean. Let's see if we can free this pen. All right, there we go. Put that in there. This comes out. Is the needle rusted in there? Oh boy. So we can take our needle nose. Oh my God! Look at this needle. Yeah, this is. Uh, you know what? 
So this has a rubber tip on here. See that? So this carburetor is no good unless I can take one from all of them. One more carburetor. Let's keep going. Let's pop that out. All right, so I snapped a few shots, and I'll send you those beauty shots. I'll post those as well to the uh, owner because we're going to have to take two carburetors and make one good one. We're going to have to rebuild this. Let's get this uh, flat blade screwdriver in here. Ooh, did that, did that crack? Was that a good crack or was that a crack of the jet? Nope, that's the crack of the jet. This carburetor is most likely done. It's not worth it to, re to get this out. It's too much rust. Now I could try and put this in my ultrasonic cleaner so it gets nice and hot. But this thing is done. So anyway, here is a one mower carburetor that I've used for parts already. To rebuild another. Let's see if this float, I'm sorry, the needle seat has a rubber tilt built into it. And it does. Is the body the same or is it longer? No, it's act this would have been no good. This is a short body. Oh, and there is no rubber tip, so forget that. Idiot. Alright, well we tried. So much for this video. Until the next one. I'm just putting this back. I don't know why I'm keeping you on camera. Hey, hey, hey! We're back! And guess what? It's new carburetor day. So let's see what this kit came with. Here's our new choke lever, right? If you want. What is that? Oh! This goes inside the tank. So I guess when we pull this down right here, there should be a screen in there. Lovely. Okay, so let's drain out the gas while we do this. So hold on one second. Actually, you know what? Because this is on an angle, this is probably not. Yep, it's not going to drain. All right, so we'll get the new carburetor on there, and then we'll drain. All right, mom, man, I really don't. I don't like opening these up. But, I don't know, we'll see. Thank you. Okay, and then we have an external fuel filter, which is weird. But, alright, we'll get the carburetor on there. And, uh, we'll go from there. So, we'll slide it out. And let's, let's get a comparison. Old versus new. This is off camera, no crying, no complaining. Here we go. Old and new. Look good. So when I went to go to this carburetor, they actually had a few different models of, excuse me, a few different models of generators. So what we are going to do now is, oh my God, I gotta peep these gaskets real quick. So let's bring you over here. And listen, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you guys some bonus footage. I bought a lawnmower, the Elusive HRX that I bought last year for 50 bucks and I sold it for 500. Well, yesterday, uh, via Facebook Marketplace, okay, one popped up for sale, and I got it within 17 minutes of posting it, and I resold it for quite the profit, for 500 bucks, and uh, I pissed off a lot of people, because I was first to flight. 
Okay. And that's life. But if you're not first, use last, right? That's what Ricky Bobby says. So, in less than 24 hours, I doubled my money. See? If every day could be that easy. Oh, and I also sold another one, Mama. I'll screenshot that too. He actually uh, wrote me a compliment on the one more too. So at the end of this video, stay tuned, bonus footage, you know, whatever, outside this generator. So now we got this all lined up. Okay, intake side. Engine side. Just matching up with the old ones. Actually, we'll save that for last. Okay. Now, we have to put this in. Remember? The governor linkage kind of just goes right in. So you just have to play with that alignment. That's why I'm working this carburetor back and forth until it gets alignment. See how it snaps right in? And then the governor spring, right? You could just do that on your own because that's nice and easy. That's very simple. Now we take our gasket, slide it on. Oh, and this choke lever was a little funky. So how does this choke lever work? Does that go here? Yep, open, closed. All right, so now we have to we're going to hook up this fuel line later, but I need to get this gas out. So let's get this gas out. Let's see if this rains, baby. I don't like using this. Do we have fuel for it? Yes, we have fuel for it. Alright, so I'm going to let this drain out. Okay, and I'll see you guys in a little bit once it's done. I'm not going to bore you with that. Alright, so, um, while the gas drains out, let's do some mail call. Now, a subscriber asked for my address and I gave it to them they wanted to send me something. And even though Mrs. Pat Tate's performance and I, you know, don't want you to pay us, don't want you to really buy anything we create a, a wish list. That's not what we want. Right? We want you to take the money that you either saved or earned by following our channel or whatever and, and invest in yourself. Okay? That's the main one. But, if you're persistent, then we'll just give you the address. So anyway, I don't know if I want to do it on this video. Maybe I'll make a dedicated video. I don't, I don't know yet. Because it's very, it's a very, very nice very nice gift. I didn't ask for it. I didn't want it. I didn't encourage it. Um, fellow subscriber sent to me. And I was almost shocked. Right? Um, it takes a lot to make me speechless. And uh, even though sometimes he comments and he does make me speechless, right? I was, that's why I was kind of skeptical to even give the address. But I did it anyway. With good faith. And uh, I don't know how to can't use the word paid off because that's not what, you know, he didn't send me a bomb, so I'm happy about that. Maybe if you guys are active on my channel and my subscribers, I see who comments and who doesn't, right? Comment, comment on my videos. And you should really hit the like button too. Please, hit the like button. That's what Mrs. Pat Taste Performance and I want you to do. You love what we do, you support what we do, hit the like button, right? If you're shy, comment, don't comment, right? And, you know, watch the ads. But anyway, even if you're shy, right, come along, you go live every 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And yeah, you know what, we do talk about small engine stuff, we do talk about what's going on during the week because we can't do everything every day, right? But then we just come along and we just catch up with each other, right? This is a community, I absolutely love it. I had no idea it was going to involve into something like this, but, you know, I'm really, really happy. So anyway, so this mail call is, you guys remember when... <clears throat> These blades were on sale or clearance for eight dollars. Right? I told them I would buy a hundred of these. And they said they don't have any. So, 
canceled my order. And they sent me, I think, two or three. So I told them, listen, I don't care where you, if you find them, steal them from another shop, warehouse, or whatever. If you guys get more blades, you reach out to me, you call me, and I will buy them. So they sent me one, two, three, four, five. These are $8 a blade. You are a fool if you don't try and buy these. 302470. There's going to be no affiliate link for this because this is my hustle, not yours. But there will be an affiliate link for this generator. And like I said, there's multiple generators that that carburetor takes from that family. So this video will apply because that carburetor will apply to all those generators. So that's how you support the channel. Watch ads, hit the like button, and use the affiliate links that we provide. That cost you zero dollars, right? Appreciate it. And uh, let's figure out what the gets. All right, so the gas has been trickling out, but it's starting to slow down. Well, there's a lot of gas left in the tank, so I think this is actually clogged. I really don't want to open up Pandora's box, but we have to. This is a 14 millimeter. Yeah, we'll take that off. Let's see what we got when we pull this out. That's just an O-ring. I wonder if that stupid filter is underneath here. That means this thing has two filters. Yeah, look at this. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's a lot different than what we... Yeah. See that? Completely different. <laughs> Just blew that out. So let's see. If, can we stick this in here? Yeah, so if we, if we install this, we bypass the factory... Um, shuttle valve, so we're not going to do that. Of course, this is completely different size. So we're going to keep just the screen filter in here and not even bother with the inline fuel shuttle valve. One is just enough. The one in the the one screen is just enough. All right, so let's put this back in here. And we'll see what kind of fuel flow we get. Can you guys see that? Nasty. It's actually a little rusty. Let's get this down. Let's get this back in here. Do we have fuel flow? Yep. Alright, so we got fuel flow. It seems like it's flowing out the same amount, so... Until then, you will have to wait. Now, what I am tempted to do maybe is just snip it and stuff it. You know, just cut this tip off and we'll put it back in there, but... I'm just going to leave it out. Like I said, we have this fuel filter. That'll be fun. That's a pretty boring. Here's the new fuel line installed. I don't know if I really wanted to show you, but yeah, it is what it is, right? Now this fuel line is technically longer than the other one. But I'm not going to trim it. It doesn't need it. I'll put these stupid clips right on. Okay. And now, my bag of parts. Hopefully, 
nothing fell out. And we will put this back together and fire it up. We hope. All these screws. <sighs> so obviously, this is our base. This goes first. So that slides here. Now don't forget we have the crankcase hookup. That goes the breather goes right behind there. And then we have all these stupid things. There's no air filter for this? I don't remember. I don't remember. I really don't remember at all. We could put these stupid clips on. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put any C's on these, and you know why. I'm gonna put some any. Gee, Jason, why are you putting any C's on here? Well, it's a really good question. Why am I putting any C's on here? Think about it. This thing is a generator. It's gonna sit. So literally, this thing is just gonna go through moisture, hot and cold, hot and cold. And the next time you have to take this apart, or the next unfortunate soul who does. It'll be nice and easy. It's not going to be a struggle. Well, it's a good idea. Oh, you know it's a good idea? Put on the bolts that hold the carburetor first. How about that? I'm so far ahead of myself. Dummy. Now, even though these came off nice and easy, right? A little dab didn't hurt nobody. I personally think if you don't use ANECs in certain special places, I think you're uh, foolish. And I think you're almost, can't use the word hack, but close to. Close to it. 10 millimeter. I can't think of any reason why you shouldn't use ANECs. Just like 30 weight oil, I almost. Put that shit on it. Ooh. Put that stuff on anything. <laughs> yep, this is the one I started. Gonna do all four. Remember, the way they came off is the same way they go on. As you guys see, I'm just throwing little bits of dabs at the end of the anti seize. So as I thread, as I tighten the screw, it spreads to the threads. That is not. Coronavirus plug. That's the one for the time. Uh oh. No. Maybe. No. <laughs> that looks like the wrong one. Going through my bin of hardware. No. No. I want to go put the hard. I want to go put the bolt in first again. Stupid. 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 All right. So. And then after this, I gotta change the oil on this thing. No. And we're gonna call it a day. I gotta remember if this had an air filter in that. It wasn't in my bag of parts. 
Remember, don't forget we have this little peaky one here at the back. Come on, mate. I am blocking the camera angle. You guys got to get out of my way. You know which one I'm talking about, right? The one behind the air filter? Yeah, that one. Once I get it in there, maybe I'll bring it. And that one was the, uh, I think that was 8 uh, millimeter too, you know? Don't worry. Don't worry. I will show you guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Here we go. That one right there. Can you guys see that? Probably not. That's the bugger. Alright. Now, let's fire it up. And see, this is why. This is our fuel filter. I'm not going to add another one. This is just fine. See, fuel line hooked up. Let's get some fuel in there. Remember, we checked the oil. It's there, but it's black. And we're going to change it. I, uh, I'll work that into the price. We're just going to change the oil. That's it. Let's get a little fuel. Throw some sea foam in here too. One, two, two loose capitals. Now, the moment of truth awaits us. Fuel on. We have choke. Alright, let a rotator chip. Actually, you know what? We'll cycle the oil a little bit because I have this thing topsy turvy. Uh -oh. Alright, is there an on off switch? On, on. Fire in the hole. Believe it or not, this is really quiet. I like this. A little bit of a soap. I can adjust that. Well, let's test the electricals on this. I really like how quiet this is. Actually, you know what? I have my earplugs in. Go. You know what? It still is flat. I like that. Ooh. It killed it. Circuit breaker on? Is this too much? There's no way.
that turns the voltage on and off. We'll fix the surgery. That's a nice idle. Let's pick it back up. Let's try one more time. Nice. You know what it is? I like that this generator is quiet. I mean, obviously this isn't going to power your house. But if you're doing something that requires electricity and not a lot of it, I mean, this thing is awesome. This is really quiet. Am I going to say this again? How many times am I going to say that? So that's our drain. You said this oil was nasty. So let's... Just trying to see if my memory is correct. Yeah, it's black. So actually, we're just going to suck it out. Even though our drain plug is right there. Alright, I know the camera angle is horrible, right? But I need to work with what I got. I'm not pulling out the drain plug because I don't have to. I'm just going to suck it out. So I got my lovely pump. Now I guarantee you, because this is... Uh, 
Like basically a 212cc engine from Harbor Freight. I think those take like 16, 20 ounces. So we're gonna we're gonna fill it up to that. But also, if you look, you see here. This is we have to fill it up to this level, all the way to the top. So that means we need to thread the dipstick in, unthread it, and check the oil. Now, I know I say I like to clean machines before I give a vacuum. Generators are one of those funky things I don't like to power wash because of the electronics, per se. And uh, being that this is an economic machine, I'm sure that there are things that are not um, coated or shrinked to prevent moisture from getting in. So I'm just going to give this a quick wipe down as we change the oil. I'm really not going to um, put much effort into this, unfortunately. I mean, a good wipe down would do this machine you know, justice, and that's what I'm going to do. But it's a lot easier if I was to just power wash it. Like it's so cheap, I ripped the sticker on this stupid thing, wiping it over. What a hunk of shit. right here. It's easier for me to top. Just stick the oil right in that keister. Now, since this is a Chinese clone, since this is a Chinese clone, I'm going to put some 10W30 in here. Because you want to know why? Honda's snowblower engines take 10W30 and lawnmower engines of Honda Take ton of so that is my reasoning behind this. There is our dipstick. Come on. Where or where does my dipstick go? Stupid. Here we are. Alright, so we'll stick this in there. I have a feeling we're low because I can't even see the oil. We're not even touching. I just made a mess. What's up, man? How are you? So, I got a, a loaded truck full of wood, so I'm going to go drop that off and come back. Dude, man, no worries. I should have it topped off as soon as we're done. Oh, man, I can't believe this is awesome that I got this working, because, you know, the fact that you got this working, I can give this to my landlord and say, hey, you know, like, your thing's up and running, I got your faith place fixed. It's like a lot of really good things. You know? Yeah, so hopefully he takes it off the rent for you, too, you know? You know?
What a winner chicken dinner. I'm going to show you the sticker that fell off. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. That's okay. This will be forever in YouTube. So, we we'll don't have to worry about it. Alright, guys. That is it. We are done. So, if you guys found this video helpful, don't forget to smash the like button, smash the right button, and guess what? I will see you guys on the next episode of Patsy's Performance and later. What was that? Yeah, so you go real slow, and then like I said, if you want to, then you want to go forward, then you pull throttle, and then you're off. <laughs>